Hello my gorgeous friends of Webflow, I'm Francesco and if you don't know who am I, well in this channel we do Webflow things and we make them simple and accessible to everybody from time to time by using a whiteboard. In today's video we are going to build a distortion draggable slider, an attributes only solution so you won't need to code and we are going to build a project that will look exactly like this. This project will be available inside my Webflow friendly components library and I will put the link to this library, which is a Webflow clonable, and to the instructions page containing all the steps required to configure the slider in the description down below. But now, let's take a look at the whiteboard. We have a few things to configure, but the setup is pretty straightforward. First things first, we need to add a div block which will act as our component the element that will host the slider and to this div block we are going to add an fc distortion slider attribute with a value of component then inside this component inside this first div block we are going to add another div block which will be our actual slider and to this div block we are going to add an fc distortion slider attribute with a value of slider and this could be for example a collection list wrapper because of course this solution we uh, will work with webflow cms as well then inside this uh, slider element we are going to throw another div block which will act as the mask of our slider basically the wrapper of all the slides and to this div block we are going to add the fc distortion slider attribute with a value of mask and then finally and by the way this mask could be for example the collection list and finally inside this mask element we are going to throw our slides which will be just div blocks with uh, yeah images inside of course and uh, this div blocks these slides could just be um, collection items for example inside a collection list to all these div blocks, to all these slides, we just need to add the FC distortion slider attribute with a value of slide. And then, but this is just optional, inside the component element, and this is the only requirement, it needs to be a child of the component element, we can throw two divs, one nested inside, um, inside the other, and basically, to the inner div block we are going to add the fc distortion slider attribute with a value of progress bar and this will act as uh, the progress bar associated with our slider the other div block will be just used to um, set the maximum width of of the progress bar and now before jumping right into webflow let's take a look of a few options that we can use to further um, configure and customize the slider all these options need to be applied to the component element and because they are just options we can decide to use them on or we can just stick with default values and for example here we have the fc distortion slider speed option which is uh, just the speed of uh, the slider while dragging and then we have the fc distortion slider strength which is the overall strength of the distortion effect that is applied to the slider and the default value is 0.05 and suggested values are between 0.05 and 0.15 then we have the fc distortion slider scale option its default value is 0.003 and suggested values are between 0.003 and 0.01 and this will be just um, let's say the scale transform that is applied to the slides while dragging and finally we have the fc distortion slider distortion option and this is kind of the uh, horizontal distortion the horizontal scale factor that is applied to all the images while while dragging and its default value is 0 0.006 and mm, suggested values are between 0 0.001 and 0 0.04 and that's it now we'll just jump right into webflow and build this slider together so let's start from scratch here we just have a bunch of images and then a cms collection with a few other images because we are going to build two sliders the first one will use items from the cms while the second one will use just static images so mm, 
first thing let's throw in a section so let's give it a class of section and let's also set its minimum height to 100 vh and then inside our section let's throw in a container this will be our main container let's set its minimum height to 100 vh its maximum width to 90 rems and then we can also yeah just add a bit of padding and then because we want to center the content we can set its display property to flex and then align to the center and justify to the center then here we just need to follow the instructions that are highlighted in this page so first we need to copy paste this script inside the head of our page so let's copy the script go back to our project and inside page settings we can paste here inside the head tag let's hit save and then next step we need to add a bunch of attributes here so mm, the component attributes this defines the div lock that will host the slider and so we can do something like this we can add a div block and this will be let's say slider component and here we can set its width to yeah 100 percent probably we can even do like this we can select the main container here and we can turn it to vertical and then yeah get rid of this alignment property go back to the default value so that we don't need to set 100% width on the slider component but back to our attributes we need to add to the uh, to the component div block this this attribute here so let's copy the name of the attribute let's paste it here and then we can go back if we want copy the value which should be component let's paste it inside here and that's it now next step we need to specify uh, what the slider uh, will be and so let's first add a collection list so collection list let's link it to the slider items CMS collection and then let's style it a little bit this will be our actual slider then the collection list we could even call it slider list wrapper this will be our slider we can call it not mask let's go with list oops and then this will be our slider list item then inside here we can throw a div block and this will be our slider image wrapper and inside our image wrapper we can throw an image and this of course will be pulled from the image field okay and now let's first select the slider list let's turn it into a flex box and then also let's select this item here let's set its width to something like 40 vw but because this is a flex box and so all the children here are set to shrink if needed we need to uh, first select don't shrink or grow and then here our setting will be applied and then also let's set the the height of uh, yeah of the list item to 40 vw so that then we can simply select here the slider image wrapper we can set the width and the height to 100 percent 
then do the same with the image but first let's add a class this will be slider item image so this could be 100 percent 100 percent let's set the feet property to cover and then back to our list item let's add a bit of padding let's say 3 vw on all sides okay there we go now to prevent this horizontal scrolling here we can simply let's say select yeah in this case we can simply select our section and yeah if we want let's add a combo class to see overflow hidden and set its overflow property to hidden so that we don't have the horizontal scrolling and then back to our attributes we need to specify yeah yeah the slider and so in this case the slider yeah there's also a hint here um, it could be in this case the collection list wrapper so we can copy the name of this attribute go back to our project we can select our list wrapper go to the element settings panel and uh, let's add a new attribute let's paste the name go back here copy the value and here let's paste the value and this is uh, yeah the slider then we need to specify uh, we need to set the mask and in this case it could be the collection list it needs to be uh, a child of the slider element so let's copy the name of the attribute let's select our list and then let's add a new attribute paste the name go back here let's copy the value let's paste it here and then we need to set the slides and in this case uh, our slides will be all our collection list items so let's select the the name of the attribute let's select inside our project the list item add a new attribute paste the name copy the value paste the value then go back here in this case we could even add if we want but it's optional we could add a progress bar and yeah let's let's do it so let's select our slider component we first need to add a first div block that will define the maximum width of our progress bar and so we can call it let's say slider progress let's set its width to 50vh maybe not maybe a bit too much let's say 40 and then let's also set both uh, the left and right margin to auto and let's also try to give it a bit of uh, top margin let's say 5vw and let's also set the height to two pixels and then inside here we need to throw another div this will be our actual progress bar we can call it slider progress bar mm. and so this needs to uh, we could even say yeah with 100 percent um, height 100 percent then we need to define uh, the background color let's do something like yeah white and then we can set mm, the transform origin here to be uh, left center so that we'll it will uh, grow from the left side to the right side and then we could even apply uh, a scale factor of zero along the x-axis because yeah at the very beginning uh, we want yeah we, we want the progress bar to start from the left and then go to the right as we drag the slider and so back to our attributes here we need to add this attribute to the our to the actual progress bar so let's copy the name go back to our project with the progress bar selected we can simply add a new attribute let's paste the name copy the value let's paste the value and then if we want we can use a few 
options here. So um, yeah, with this first example, yeah, let's just use the options that we have. Then in the second one, we will go with uh, default values. So first thing first, the speed. And this needs to be applied, or actually all these options need to be applied to the component element. So let's copy the name of the attribute, select our component element, add a new attribute, paste the name, go back here. The default value is five, let's go, let's try with four in this case. Then the, the next option is strength. And so, yeah, we can copy the name first, add a new attribute, paste the name, go back here. Mm, the default value is 0 0.05, we can try with something like 0 0.1. So let's do 0 0.1. Then the next one is the scale. So let's first copy the name, add a new attribute, paste the name. And then here, mm, yeah, suggested values are mm, between 0 0.003 and 0 0.01. So uh, let's do something like 0 0.005. So 0 0.005. And then our last option is the distortion. So let's copy the name, add a new attribute, then suggested, or actually the default value is 0 0.006. Let's do something like uh, 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 and it should be it now we just need to publish the website and then we can go here to the live page try to drag and it's working just fine. Then one thing we can tweak, actually two things that we can tweak are, let's first close this window. We can give our slider progress a background color so that it's more clear if we are reaching the end of the slider. And so we can add a background color of, let's say white with an opacity of maybe 20 let's see yeah it should work fine and then another thing that we can do is we can select our uh, our slider element and set the cursor to where is it mm, grab so that it's more yeah it's clearer that we need to click and drag the slider to uh, to move it. So once again, let's publish our website. Let's go to the live page. And now, yeah, we can click and drag. We can even better see the progress. And everything seems to be working just fine yeah if we reach the end of course we cannot move to the left to the right and the same goes here at the beginning we cannot yeah move the slider towards the towards the right of course and that's it now let's start with the second example and once again yeah we are going to use just static images and we are going to stick with default values and so let's build our second example here mm, we could just mimic the exact same structure that we use for the first example so we can start by duplicating this section here and then because we want to use static images this time inside of our slider component we could first get rid of the progress bar because we said that we are not going to use it this time then inside the component we can add a div block and this will have well we can use the exact same classes the slider list wrapper and then inside our list wrapper we will add a div which will be our slider oops list and then inside our slider list 
we can add another div which will be our slider list item and then we can do something like this we can select this image we can uh, unlink it from the CMS field so that we can simply copy the image wrapper and paste it inside the uh, list item here and then we can finally get rid of this list wrapper because we are not going to use it then how many images do we have we have five images so let's duplicate this list item a few times two three four five and then let's mm, let's do something like this so that we can basically yeah instead of collapsing we are expanding everything so that we can easily mm, update or replace all these images so let's select the first one choose an image it will be this one second image this one then the third one which will be this one then the fourth one which is this one and finally the last one this one and now we simply have to follow these instructions once again so we already have this uh, component attribute because we basically copy pasted this section and yeah so uh, that we already have this slider component with all these attributes but by the way we said that we want to stick with default values this time so we just need to keep the very first attribute the component attribute and we can get rid of all the other attributes then slider list wrapper we need to add the slider attribute so let's copy the name let's add a new attribute let's copy the value let's paste the value and now slider list we need to add the mask attribute so copy the name add a new attribute paste the name copy the value paste the value okay so we have our first two attributes and then to all these items here we need to add the slide attribute so let's do it let's copy the name then select the first slider item new attribute paste the name then select the second one paste the name then the third one the fourth one and then the last one okay now let's paste the value here so let's copy the value first item let's paste it to the second slide third one fourth one and fifth one now let's make sure that we have all the attributes in place so component attribute slider mask slide 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 and it should be it now we can simply publish our project inspect the live link and we have the first slider that of course is working just fine and then we have the second one which is working just fine and I guess that that's it for today thank you so much everybody for watching this video and if you liked it well feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions or want to share thoughts about things that might improve well feel absolutely free to throw a comment down below and as usual my weekly recommendation today is another one for on polyphia and it's called ego death and so see you next time ciao matane